Thank you, Madam Chair. I do have questions for all of you, so if you can help me out as succinctly as possible, that's great. Um, uh, Ms. Evans, do you believe that we need to have a critical uh, assessment threat about where we are with cybersecurity? Uh, Senator, I appreciate the question. Um, I, I would ask about some specificity associated with the threat assessment. Um, based on what I've read and what is available publicly, several threat assessments as it relates to cybersecurity have been completed, example, from the intelligence community. If you're asking specifically about um, the energy resources, it's my understanding that that has been done as a result of the executive order. And should I be confirmed, I would look at that threat assessment and see if there are any other additional gaps. I, yeah, I think we need. I think what I should do is follow up with very specific on okay. what we think is missing and see if you can help us out with an answer there. Ms. Donaldson, mm -hmm. um, obviously Hanford is a big priority for our state and making sure that cleanup happens, but making sure that contractors are accountable, but also for protecting workers. So will you make Hanford one of your priorities in making sure that that accountability of contractors and for worker safety is a priority? Yes, I will, Senator Kim. Thank you. And uh, Mr. Fall, on science and information, obviously we have a lot of concern that maybe certain science and information isn't being made public. Will you make sure that science uh, ha community has data and modeling on climate and what it will mean for our nation and infrastructure? Uh, yes, ma'am. Thank you. Okay. Now, Mr. Uh, Simmons, I wanted to ask you specifically, do you have any hesitation about your role at EERE -E as it relates to standards and the standards that must be set so that we can move forward on energy efficiency? No. Okay. If that's the case, why do we have such a backlog at the agency right now? I think we have 23 different proposals um, that are being considered or I'm sorry, there are 23 missed deadlines for products that are being considered in this process. So do you think there's a big backlog? There is a, <clears throat> there is a backlog, and uh, if confirmed, I will uh, work to process through that backlog. It is, uh, you know, there are two very important legal deadlines that we have. One is the, is the date deadline for these, for these regulations, to review them every six years, to review test procedures every seven years. Um, and also to... Um, when we set standards, because, uh, because of the no backsliding provisions, we only kind of get one bite of that apple. That means we need to be very careful so that the, the rules withstand judicial sc uh, scrutiny. So it's important to, to, to meet those deadlines and, and to really to meet all of our legal obligations when we're promulgating those regulations. So you feel qualified and experienced and full-throated, I guess, in going over to the House of Representatives who's held up our energy policy uh, that we've tried to pass because they don't want to look at things on the on the building side or appliance side, which we think are critical for getting consumers and businesses more energy efficiency. I, I I'm not familiar enough with your w with that disagreement to really comment on it. I'm sorry. Okay. Well, this will be a key part of your job. So maybe before we vote on you, you could take a look at that. Okay. Um, this is, um, you know. I've considered many nominees, and usually, to me, what somebody says in their past job, whether they're a nominee to be a judge and were a college professor, in your case, working for some institutions that didn't support these policies, but more importantly is what you say now. But I need to know <laughs> that this agency is going to operate in the most aggressive manner possible. Coming from a state where energy efficiency has delivered over and over and over and over again for us. I have a whole economy being developed. You know, I have a whole block in Spokane that plans on being a net zero block. They believe in it. They believe in moving forward. Even though we have cheap hydro, you would think at three to four cent kilowatt rate that they wouldn't continue to be so adamant, but they are. And so I want that economy to move forward in my state and in our nation. So I need to know that you're going to be as aggressive as possible. So we'll get you that information about the legislation, and then you can you can take a look at it. And maybe that you and I have to have further conversation about this. But um, we have seen a slow walking by some uh, on on this, and I'm telling you, um, it's wrong headed. It's the wrong approach, and our nation is going to be in the manufacturing base, 
very, very competitive on an international basis if we can drive down electricity costs. So that should be our mantra, and I hope you will lead that charge. I will, uh, I will not slow walk any of those regulations. 